Well, we've got a little treat for you here today on CompleteCar.ie because we've got a Volkswagen Beetle. It's not just any Beetle. This, out of the 22 million that were made between 1945 and 2003, this was built in Dublin. You may forget that Ireland actually had a proper car industry at one point where we made cars. We didn't, we didn't make them from scratch. Like this one, they came in in kits. They came in effectively like an Ikea kit in a flat pack box and they were put together. But this is a hugely, hugely significant one because this little green beetle, all 1100 cc's and 25 horsepower and 100 kilometer an hour maximum speed of it, was built on the Shelburne Road in Dublin. And why is that remarkable, you might ask? Because obviously Ford was making cars down in Cork by then for many, many years, and other car companies would come to Ireland in the ensuing years to get around the import tax rules. We had Datsuns and Toyotas and Fiats and Morris and Austin and even Mercedes were building cars in Ireland at one point. But this Beetle is so significant because this was the first one not to be made here. And when I say here, I mean Wolfsburg, because we're in Wolfsburg in Germany, the home of VW, the town that Volkswagen and the Beetle built. And this was the first one that would go on to international success. The Beetle had already started to become a big success in Germany by then, but now it was spreading its wings. Now it was heading out into the big wide world. Eventually the Beetle would be built on almost every continent on the planet, but this was the first one. This was the first one not made in Germany, made in Dublin, and they still have it here in the museum, 73 years on, and it's gorgeous, isn't it? I just, I love this almond green paintwork and it's been kept mostly original. There's a few little add-ons like proper indicators just so that it can be driven these days, but it still has its engine. It's 1100 cc, 25 horsepower engine. It still has a beautifully simple interior filled with pale, creamy Bakelite. You just look at this and you think, well, why don't we do this now? Why don't we have nice, simple, affordable cars that people can just get around in and that aren't big hulking SUVs and that aren't, you know, heavy and silly. This is what we need. We need a return to this kind of thing. But what is the really interesting thing about this car is how much it cost. In 1950, this Beetle cost 465 Irish pounds. Now that was at a time when average wages in Ireland were around about 200 pounds a year. So this was a really expensive prospect. This was at a time when people generally speaking, didn't buy cars. But it became a staggering success. 46 Beetles were sold that first year, all built on the Shelburne Road. Two years later, in 1952, 2,155 were sold. By the late 50s and into the 60s, 3,000, 4,000 a year were being sold. That was huge in a market the size of Ireland's, which was tiny and remains tiny, but it was even tinier back then. So successful was this car that questions were actually asked in the Doyle about how much the money being spent on Volkswagen Beetles was affecting Ireland's balance of payments. That's what a storming success it was in Ireland. It dominated the Circuit of Ireland rally. You might not believe it. And that wasn't a, a hotted up Beetle. That wasn't a performance version with a silly engine. It was just that this was so tough and reliable. You could drive it harder for longer than pretty much any other car on the road. Paddy Hopkirk, the great Paddy Hopkirk, started his career winning on the circuit of Ireland in cars very, very like this one. The Beetle would hit its peak in Ireland in 1972 when 5,000 were sold. And after that, of course, things started to decline. The design had become too old. Volkswagen couldn't keep modifying it. And eventually it would have to make way for the Golf. And we all know what huge heights of success that car and Volkswagen around it went on to after that. But this is the first. This is the beginning of Volkswagen in Ireland. This is the beginning of Volkswagen as a global force. This is the beginning of Volkswagen climbing up to become a car company that makes 10 million cars a year and employs thousands all around the world. So yeah, it may be small, it may be simple, but it is actually quite significant.